Why are truck crash tests conducted? After all, it is obvious that a multi-ton machine will destroy any obstacle in its path. However, it is not true. Their drivers are no less at risk, and therefore truck manufacturers zealously monitor the safety and reliability of their vehicles. Swedish companies Volvo and Scania are among the most demanding ones. Today, you will learn how their cars are being tested. A security system of a truck is practically no different from a car and also comprises two main components, active protection and passive protection. When it comes to Volvo cars, you can be sure both work perfectly because safety is Volvo's corporate philosophy. Although Scania is not a universally recognized security guru, it is no less scrupulous in testing its vehicles. Companies equip their trucks with advanced active protection equipment designed to prevent accidents. It includes an improved mirror system, blind spot sensors, and a road monitoring system that signals if the driver is tired and loses control of the road. Unfortunately, accidents can sometimes be unavoidable. Therefore, it is necessary to provide maximum protection for a driver and minimize damage to other participants in the accident. This is where a need for a series of crash tests arises, as they are as close as possible to real accidents. Volvo runs more than 1,000 computer collision simulations and more than 100 real tests. The most comprehensive one is a full frontal examination when the car entirely crashes. It allows recognizing key design flaws, from damage to external and internal parts of the body and damage to the car's electrical system, to studying the degree of injuries to the driver dummy. Using heavy-duty steel body frame and doors and technologies such as laser metal welding, Volvo has been able to minimize body deformation. A well-known fact, Swedish body strength tests are the toughest in the world, and one of these special Volvo tests is the so-called Swedish Impact Test. This test is solely the initiative of Volvo and is not regulated in any document on car safety. The tests performed in terms of this examination show how much the penetrability of the body parts has been reduced and whether they pose a danger to the life of the driver. To this end, Volvo has repeatedly increased the stiffness and functionality of the doors, thereby significantly reducing driver's neck and knee injuries. By the way, Scania conducts the most advanced and dangerous strength tests of the cabin on the street with loaded semi-trailers. This method allows checking the strength of the car in case of rollover. The data obtained helps identify the most vulnerable spots on the driver's body and develop new passive protection systems. Another important test is conducted specifically for Volvo hybrid trucks. The crash is conducted from the side, a classic case in urban traffic, when some moron moves on red. The main objective of the test is to check the reliability and resistance of the battery to collisions. You probably know that a damaged battery has got an unpleasant property – to explode. Car systems must immediately disconnect the electrical system and the casing must prevent any leakage of harmful substances onto the road. Well, trucks would not be trucks if they did not pass the tests for weight loads. Volvo carries out a rather specific test, designed to find out how heavy a load the truck body can withstand. After all, when loading, anything can happen, and the falling of a multi-ton lump or a container should not destroy the chassis of the vehicle. For this purpose, a two-ton disc is dropped from various heights onto the body above. The Volvo truck proudly withstood dropping a two-ton load from a height of 11 feet. Besides taking into account the force of gravity, then upon impact, the weight of the lump reaches as much as 214 tons. In conclusion, it is worth noting that most of the tests shown in this video had been calculated and planned for more than a year. While preparation for each of the tests was carried out for one and a half to two months, and all that for the sake of a couple of seconds for a crash to occur. That's what we call Swedish attention to details.